Seamus wrote this poem as a confident, assured celebration of the special bond that he and his wife will forge together. So Rachel, Robbie, you have my blessings that you built a lifelong lasting forge. You have many happy days ahead of you. So this is Scaffolding by Seamus Heaney. Masons, when they start upon a building, are careful to test out the scaffolding. Make sure that the planks won't slip at busy points, secure all the ladders, tighten the bolting joints. And yet, this all comes down when the job's done, showing off walls of sure and solid stone. So if, my dear, there sometimes seems to be old bridges breaking down between you and me, never fear. We may let the scaffolds fall, confident that we've built our wall. Welcome everyone to the wedding ceremony of Robbie and Rachel. Friends and family, I'm sure you will all agree how special it is to be here today, to share such a truly important moment in this amazing couple's lives. And today they will share and declare their commitment to each other in a profound and personal way, witnessed by you, their loving friends and family. Rachel, your mum and I are both aware of just how lucky we are to have you in our lives. And I cannot believe how quickly you've grown from that small bundle in my arms that I held 27 years ago into the beautiful young woman I walked down the aisle today. I hope you know exactly how much we both love you. Although today I've given you away to a man who will also love and protect you Please know you're always my little girl. Eventually Rachel plucked up the courage to allow us to meet Robbie and we were immediately struck by what a pleasant, polite and considerate young man that you were and are. As a dad, you sometimes worry about the choices that your daughter makes in life. And I think this choice has been a perfect one. And in that regard, I have no worries. There seems to be some differing opinions online about what birthstone represents December, aka the birth month of our relationship, but it seems to be blue topaz, so blue, blue topaz it is. Blue topaz also represents loyalty and communication. Two qualities I love about you. Here's to the past for all that you've learned. Here's to the present for all that you share. Here's to the future for all that you look forward to together. Ladies and gentlemen, to Rachel and Robbie, the Woo! winner. couple happens upon love in very different ways. The perfect blend of circumstance that lead two people to meet and fall in love. Every single life experience we have intertwines to pave a path to happiness. And this path to happiness begins more as a corridor in Queen's Student Union in 2015. Rachel, the self-described keen bean that she is, had decided to join Queen's Radio during Freshers' Week. And little did she know, as she rocked up to the first meeting in the production room, that she would be about to meet not only her future bridesmaids, Sarah and Ellie, future best man, Corey, but most importantly, her future husband, Robbie. I know I've joked that I knew from fairly early on in our relationship that I wanted to marry you and jumped at the chance when we finally discussed it. But I hope you know that's because living life alongside you has been and always will be truly amazing. And I love you so much. I feel so lucky getting to face the future with the one that I planned it with. And although the path forward might not always be clear, I feel blessed knowing that we'll face it together. I 
I, Rachel, promise to share my life with you as an equal partner, to encourage your hopes and dreams and to never take you for granted. I promise to celebrate all your triumphs and to support you through weakness and strength, happiness and sorrow. I promise to be your navigator and best friend, to honour and cherish you through all life's adventures. Wherever we go, we'll go together. I promise to make you laugh, to make you think, and above all else, to inspire and to challenge you to be your best self. I promise to always cherish the life that we have created together and to love you with patience and openness for the rest of my life. I give you this ring as a symbol of my enduring love. Following your exchange of promises and rings, and in the presence of your family and friends, it gives me great pleasure to now announce you as husband and wife. Congratulations, you may share your first kiss as a married couple. And playing the objective, whether it's in a video game or real life, it's something that this pair have excelled at time and time again. Whether the objective was bossing their careers, um, buying their first home or planning this magnificent wedding, these two have smashed their goals at every turn. So Robbie, I'm immensely proud of all you've achieved and excited to see all the milestones you will continue to reach in this life. Rachel, I'm proud to finally be able to call you my sister and I'm happy that the McKinney clan can grow by one today. I wish the both of you boundless happiness and love and marriage and if everyone could please raise the glass to Rachel and Robbie McKinney. resident librarian in our house I thought I'd find a line from a book that best summed up our relationship. I often came across this one from Wuthering Heights by Emily Ronte where Catherine says of Heathcliff, whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. At first I thought this described us rather well. After all we are united in the same values and in our love for each other. 
But when I sat and thought about it, I realised we are really not the same. And that, in fact, is why we work so well. So whatever our souls are made of, his and mine might not be the same, but I still think they fit like two jigsaw pieces that were meant to be.